Oh, hey all, Javid here. Good to see you all today. As I'm sure you all remember, we've been talking about a little something called faith this month. Well, faith is trusting what you can't see because of what you can see. Sometimes it's hard to have faith, though. Like when things aren't going well, you don't know how God is going to work something out. But I know that as I get to know more about God, that makes my faith in Him even stronger. It isn't always easy to have faith in God, especially when bad things are happening. That's why it's important to remember how God has taken care of you and others in the past. When you remember what he's done in the past, well, it helps you trust him in the future. So, let's do a little remembering, shall we? Oh boy, that's a little too far back. Cute baby, though. That's better. Um, let's remember the last few weeks. If you recall, we talked about what happened to some of the very first Christians. Well, some people made fun of them and said harsh and insulting things to them just because they believed in Jesus. Sometimes their property was even stolen or taken away from them. But that's not even the worst of what happened. Some were even thrown in jail. <laughs> Get me out of here. That's better. Not because they'd done anything wrong, but they were thrown in jail just because they believed in Jesus. Well, when bad things like this happened, those very first Christians knew it was important to remember what God had done in the past. That's why we got the Bible, right? They knew it would help them trust God in the future. Now, last week we learned about a man who had a lot of faith in God. Someone those very first Christians were very, very familiar with. Does anyone remember the man's name? Did they get it? Awesome job, guys. It was Abraham. Abraham was an old man. When God told him to pack up and leave home, Abraham did it, even though it probably wasn't even easy. God made an unusual promise to Abraham. God promised that he would be a great nation, that he would have as many family members as are grains of sand on the seashore. He also promised to give them a new land to live in called Canaan. Sometimes we call this the promised land. Well, did God keep his promise to Abraham? Yes, yes he did. God gave Abraham and Sarah a son, and eventually grandkids and great-grandkids. As a matter of fact, we are going to be talking about one of Abraham's great-grandsons today. His name is Joseph. But I'm going to let your leaders tell you the story, and I will see you all next time.